everybody. Welcome back to Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. My name is Denise and today is Friday, October 22nd and this is floss tube number 50. I can't believe this is floss tube number 50. Um, although before I started uh, recording floss tube videos, I was recording crochet podcasts also here on this channel on YouTube and you can always go back into the playlists and find those if you're interested. So altogether I've done um, more than a hundred videos and I'm just so excited and I cannot believe that this is floss tube number 50. I hope everyone is doing well. And if you're new here, this is a channel about cross stitch with some uh, crochet and sewing thrown in from time to time. And um, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and spending time with me. I want to take this time to also thank all of you who have decided to click on my link in the description box below and bought me a coffee. I really do appreciate that more than you could possibly know. Um, I use the proceeds from that to help with shipping because I like to do giveaways um, as often as possible. Uh, sometimes it's even on every single video. So thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. And here is today's basket. This is what we're going to talk about today, guys. I don't think this is going to be a very long video, but you never know how much I feel like rambling. We're going to um, just go right into the comments and questions, and there's not a lot. But just a couple of things that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm so glad that I mentioned that I lived in Philadelphia for some time because a few of you also either have lived in Philadelphia or from Philadelphia. And so that just gives us a little bit more in common. And um, I will put it out there that if you have lived in Philadelphia, visited Philadelphia, you know, we are part of uh, the elite crew that really knows what cheesesteak tastes like. <laughs> so, and honestly, guys, I've tried cheesesteak in so many different places and no one can get it like Philadelphia. But I do want to ask you, for those of you who are familiar uh, with the whole uh, from, uh, Philadelphia scene, um, I remember that there were pretzels, soft pretzels, um, unlike any other I've ever experienced. And um, we used to actually eat these pretzels like for breakfast with coffee. So if anybody remembers that or, or has a story to go with those pretzels, let me know in the comments. I'd be really interested in um, hearing what you have to say and whether you have experienced that as well. That's a very fond memory for me. Um, Susan said that I'm not alone in liking Stiff Ada. Thank you, Susan. So Susan and I are now part of the Stiff Ada Club. And um, she also said that she liked my shirt. Thank you for that, Susan. And many of you over time have commented on what I'm wearing, my lipstick color, and so forth. And I just want you to know how much I really appreciate that. And today I am wearing my Halloween shirt that I made with my golden pumpkin on it. So cute for Halloween. So thank you guys. Thank you for all of your comments and your questions. I really do appreciate that. I really, really do. 
So let's move on to the fact that I have a finish. Guys, I have a finish. Except I'm not sure whether, and I have it all in the wrong order here. I'm not sure whether I cheated or not. So I am holding it in this beautiful, fancy project bag from Kathy. I love it. So maybe you can guess that what I have in here is Christmas related. So where is it now? Okay, it's in here, guys, I promise. Okay, here it is. I have a finish. It's the roly poly Santa that I showed you guys last time that I actually found in a bag of treasures. And it just needed to have the back stitching completed. So I went ahead and I did that. And um, I stitched this so very long ago i have no idea when it was sometime after 2004 um i know that much it may have even been in 2004 um it's a hot mess on the back because i had to learn some things and i noticed that there's a couple of missing stitches i just left everything exactly the way i found it and I completed the back stitching on that. So, yeah, that is a finish, okay? This is a finish. Now, this finish led me to my first whip that I'm going to share with you. And that is what I'm going to call Roly Poly Santa number two. And so I started him, and this is only how far I got. I'm still working on that. I'm going to be working on this for another couple of days. And this pattern comes from, um, I thought that it came from one of my uh, books that I collect, which is um, Better Homes and Gardens, A Cross Stitch Christmas by Craftways. Um, so I was eager to get into that book and, uh, see, uh, the, uh, chart in its entirety. Well, I do have the chart, but I wanted to see how it was laid out and so forth and finished, but it's not in that book. Apparently, Better Homes and Gardens also had a magazine that was called cross stitch christmas and this came out of the 2004 issue of that magazine so i looked through my stash of books and magazines and i have the 2000 issue and the 2011 issue i have no idea what happened to the 2004 issue if anybody knows where i can get that from because i do want to have it please let me know that down in the comments and um, I was able to find one um, through a search online. It was quite uh, costly. But if you know of anything else, let me know. Because I am going to do this whole series of roly-poly Santas, um, which I think there's five of them. So this is Santa with present, and this is going to be Santa with bell. So, there you go, guys. That's my finish, and that's one of my whips. And you can let me know whether I cheated or not. I don't know. I don't think I cheated. It's a finish. So, the next whip that I want to share with you guys is I did some more stitching on the Lucky Nutcracker Stitch Along by um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And this is how it looks. It's a mystery. It's a mystery stitch along. And so this is how it looks with part two. And guys, I am still trucking along on part one, <clears throat> which 
is this big old Christmas tree, but I did get a lot of the tree done. So I'm really happy about that. Um, honestly, I cannot wait until I'm finished with this tree. I want to stitch something other than this tree, but I am determined to finish the tree before I start stitching on another part of it. So here's where I am on that. It's gonna be adorable. It's gonna be adorable. And um, I stitched this on. Let me go back for one second to the roly poly Santas. I stitched the roly poly. I am stitching the roly poly Santas on 14 count Ada, but I'm using three strands of floss. And I really like the way that floss is looking with the coverage using three strands on 14 count. I've had it in the back of my mind for some time now that I just think that I would prefer to use three strands on 14 count. And so far, that's working out really well. This um, Lucky Nutcracker is being stitched on 16 count Ada using two strands of floss. And I like the coverage of that as well. And I hope the light, the light looks kind of funky on my end. I hope it looks okay for you guys. Hope you can see that well. So that is the Lucky Nutcracker Stitch Along, which you can still um, purchase the kit on their website. So my next whip, Yes, I've got lots of whips. I, th I feel like I did a lot of stitching in this past two weeks. So the next whip is Autumn by Cricut Collection. And um, if I can figure it out, which I think I can, here it, here it is. Here's what it's gonna look like when it's done. I love this so much. And so I'm going to insert a picture, probably here, of um, how I had to frog this. But let me show it to you guys first. This is how far I've gotten on that. So you see I have the U almost done. Got some of the pumpkin in. This is gonna be the M, and I absolutely love these colors. Now, what happened was, I, of course, you know, we sit, we sit down and we stitch with a goal in mind, and um, this is this chart is broken up into like three separate pages, and I, of course, wanted to finish this entire page. I stitched on it for several days, um, but, I got to here, I had all of this stitched. I was about to stitch the, well, I had started stitching the moon and I realized that all of this was wrong. So I had to frog it out. And so I'm gonna insert a picture. So of course, you know, in my fashion, I made sure that I frogged everything before I went to bed and put it away. Because usually if I have to frog something, if I try not to put it away before I frog it, because I feel like if I have to frog it when I pick it up, then I'm not gonna wanna work on it. So I did that. I fixed all of this and I moved on. But I also want to point out to you guys that this moon right here, I stitched the moon using DMC Floch. I uh, showed you guys some DMC Floch in the last video and told you that I was going to give it a try in cross stitch. And I did. And I have to say that I love it. I love the coverage. Um, each strand is equal to approximately uh, one and a half strands of DMC. And I am stitching this on 18 count oatmeal Ada 
using two strands of floss and one strand of flosh, which I used for the moon. Now, let me show you my flosh, guys. This is the one that I used. And let me put a paper behind it. This is the one that I used. And this is um, DMC 727. And so it's good to know that they are consistent with their color numbering. So this is the same color as 727 DMC Floss. It's, it's the same. That's not the color that the chart called for, but it is the color that I had. So I used it and I like the way it looks. Now, I did um, a thing, as you can see, with it. Because the flush, it comes like this, guys. It comes like this. It comes like this. And this is actually more of a, a hank. So if you're familiar with using um, hanks of silk or hanks of yarn, then um, you know that in order to use it, it's, it's a little different than what we do with the actual DMC floss. So if you guys are interested, let me know down in the comments below and I will uh, record a little demo of how I took the flows from this to this. But let me know if you're interested in that. So far, I really love this. And um, Deb let me know that she believes that they now have even more colors than they did when I was first introduced to it. So she's about to get some 310 flosh and I think I'm gonna be right behind her. This is, is this is really good stuff, guys. It's so soft. Um, it doesn't have quite the same sheen, but I, look at it again. I really like the way that looks. Just look at that moon. I like the way that looks. So I can see I will be stitching with um, more flosh in the future. So that was my autumn by Cricut Collection. And then I decided to pick up Autumn Alphabet. Now, Autumn Alphabet is by Willow Hill Samplings. And this is what it looks like. I love these pumpkins. I think that's what drew me to the chart. And so far, it has been a joy to work on. And here, oops, don't lose the needle. More needle minders are so needed. Okay. And here is where it is now. Can you see that? So I was actually able to um, get the bird all stitched in and I got a good start on the pumpkins. And I am really loving how this is turning out. Um, of course, you know, when I get this far on a pattern, I always think, oh boy, I could finish this in no time, but that didn't happen. And I only worked on it for a couple of days. Now, somewhere down in here, I'm like off a half a stitch and I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I think it's okay. So I'm stitching this on 32 count um, Lugana. Um, hold on, hold please. I thought I knew this by heart. Uh, 
32 count picture this plus murky Lugana. So I can't wait to uh, finish this and display it. I already know exactly how I want to finish it. And I cannot wait to have this. Um, hopefully, hopefully by next fall, I'll have this all done. I love it. Don't you just love it? So, yeah. That is Autumn Alphabet. So, I've done like lots of Autumn stitching and I'm feeling really good about that. And... I got some Stitchy Kindness Mail from none other than Memphis Sarah E. And she sent this really cute card and she's got stickers all over it, <laughs> which yeah, that's right up my alley, right? Who doesn't love stickers? And here's the beautiful card. Happy Halloween with the Sanderson sisters. How cute, with a very nice note inside. And she also included some stickers for me to use. Yay, I love it. And wait until you guys see this. She sent some floss from the Forbidden Fiber Company and it's called Toil and Trouble. This floss is amazing. This is amazing. I can't wait to find something to stitch with this. It is absolutely amazing. So thank you so much, Sarah. I really appreciated that little gift and my very first Halloween card. Thank you so much for my little stickers. I'm happy. So now I want to draw your attention to so a free, it's a free download because you know I like to share free downloads with you guys. And I only know about this because of Liz of Country Stitchers. And the, um, I don't have a picture of it because it's just, I just couldn't, I couldn't get a photo of what it looks like. But you're going to go to pineneedlesonline.com, which I will uh, put the link to that in the description box below. And uh, they are a quilting, cross-stitch, and embroidery website. And they have the October Halloween Blocks Stitch Along where you download a different block every single day. They are so small, they are so cute, and I um, want to remember to go in each day and download uh, my little block. They are so adorable, you guys have to go and see that. And, um, it was designed by Sandra Workman, the Pine Needles owner. Uh, the finished stitch count for the project is 89 stitches wide by 105 stitches high. So it's not huge at all. That gives you pretty much of an idea of how small and cute and quick those little blocks are. And uh, they're using a Stormy Night. 16 count Ada or 25 count Lugana. The pattern is going to be free of charge through the end of October 31st. And after that, the patterns will be, the free patterns will be removed and the completed pattern will be available for purchase. So as I said, I'm going to leave the uh, link in the description box below for you. They are also, um, they also have fabric and floss sets available for purchase. And um, it's uh, charted for DMC floss. And if you all, if you do also want to see a photo 
of uh, what has been stitched so far. I found, I did find a photo of, um, on their Instagram page, which is Pine Needles Utah on Instagram. Again, I'm going to link all of that below. And I'm sorry that I don't have a picture, but I did want you guys to see, uh, I did want you guys to know about this free download. Um, and so go to the description box and click on the link. So I um, only have a very little bit of haul as in one bit of haul for you guys to show you guys. It's pretty amazing. Um, you may remember that I kind of go on and on and on at this time of year about, you know, oh my gosh, I need the perfect planner. Because obviously I have, have not yet found a perfect planner. Okay, let's be real. If I had found the perfect planner by now, I wouldn't still be going through this every single year. So, um, I was con I was really contemplating uh, making my own planner, um, and I've been, goodness knows, spending way too much time searching out planners. And then this shows up in the mail from that quarter shop. And it's in this wonderful box, which I don't know about you, but I have a thing for pretty boxes. And it is the Fat Quarter Shop 2022 Planner I Be In My Bonnet. Now, let me be honest with you guys. I have seen this planner promoted in emails and so forth uh, for a couple of weeks now. And it looks really, really cute. Uh, but it the pictures that they're showing are not doing it justice. This is such quality. This is so well made. I'm so, so happy to have this. It is wonderful and it's got your monthly calendar here and it also has lots of planning pages included this is perfect this is perfect i'm so happy that they sent this to me and guess what, guys? I have one for you. This will be in a future giveaway. Not for today, but it will be in a future giveaway. I um, plan to uh, do that giveaway in time for you to have this for the new year. Uh, so stay tuned if you are interested in receiving the Fat Quarter Shop. 2022 planner. I am thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled with it, guys. So, you guys ready for giveaways, though? Okay. So, I'm going to announce the winners of the giveaway from last time. And there were three. Three winners. The first, um, Thing was the Prim Stitch Series. I always get this mixed up. Prim Stitch Series um, numbers 11 and 12. So this rounds out the series. This completes the series. Number 11 is Gratitude and Grace. And number 12 is Hands and Heart to God. And the winner of this is Shelia Burton. Shelia Burton. Shelia, congratulations. Get Please get in touch with me by email at designmars1 at gmail.com. Let me know what your mailing address is, and I will get these in the mail to you as soon as I can. The next one was the Stitch Cards Set Eye by Laurie Holt. These things are just so stinking cute. 
and flea market flowers, which I am currently, I currently have this in my whip pile and so many people are stitching this. It's so easy to um, adjust it to your own um, colorway. And the winner of these two items is EJ Creates. That's right, EJ Creates. So EJ, please get in touch with me by email at designmorris1 at gmail.com. And I will get this in the mail to you as soon as I can. So now we have one more. And that is the festive quilt pattern. And this quilt pattern has sizes for a table runner, crib, lap, and queen sizes. Okay. And this goes to Karen MR. Karen MR. Congratulations. Please get in touch with me by email at designmorris1 at gmail.com. Let me have your mailing address and I will get this into the mail to you as soon as possible. Congratulations, everyone. And I would like to share with you now the giveaway for next time. And this is gonna be a whole Halloween bundle, which consists of a Halloween project bag, which I'm not going to take out of the plastic, but I also have one of these and it is really nice. It's a good size. So the project bag, the Halloween Floss Bitties Floss Drops, right? The ghostly keychain charm which he's kind of upside down there he goes <laughs> the ghostly keychain charm and the enamel needle minder so it's an entire halloween bundle that um you um could possibly win and of course, all of the rules are that you be over the age of 18 so that you can legally give me your address. Please do like this video and please do be a subscriber. Um, I like to do giveaways for those people who have subscribed to my channel and continue to support. It's a way for me to say thank you. And so all you need to do to be eligible to win that Halloween bundle is to use the word spooky anywhere in your comment. That's the word spooky. And on my next video, I'll announce who the winner is of that giveaway. Um, so good luck to everybody. Now, what are my plans coming up? I'm going to continue with Lucky Nutcracker. Um, and I normally put at least one strand of floss in it every single day. So I'm going to continue with that. I'm going to continue working on Santa number two, which is the Santa with Bell. And on November 1st, I'm going to start the No More Sampler by... Birdie's Crossing, the No More Sampler. So I will be stitching along with Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery and others who are joining the hashtag uh, Black Sampler November. So that's what I'm going to be stitching on. And I want to say that a decision has been made that I will be starting on Mickey's Coffee on December 1st, and I'm stitching it along with Memphis Sarah E. And so if you would like to join us, please feel free to do so. We have not come up with any hashtag or anything like that, 
but um yeah that's what that's what we're gonna we're gonna start working on that december 1st so i'm excited about that i feel like i know everything that's going on pretty much for the rest of the year i feel very uh satisfied very uh confident um, I have my planner. I don't have to worry about that anymore. So, yeah, life is good. So, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Um, I told you it wasn't going to be a very long video. Uh, but, uh, do consider, uh, joining the Facebook group, Black Ribbon Stitch Studio on Facebook, where we like to share with each other what we're working on, what our progress is. We like to share finishes. And lately, I've been uh, also trying to share when I come across a very good sale that I think you guys would be interested in. So you may want to go ahead and join that. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. And uh, so if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Um, thank you so much for those of you who share my videos. And I'd like to leave you with the words of inspiration as I do every week. Never underestimate your ability to make some uh, someone else's life better, even if you never know it. Thank you so much, guys. I hope that you enjoy your Halloween and whatever uh, celebration that you choose to do for that day. Uh, try not to eat so much candy that you get sick. That's what I'm going to be trying to do. And... Now more than ever, guys, remember love.